touch and switch. And now, two guys who desperately want to run their own haunted house. But there's a virus thing. This patch and switch. Haunted house. <laughs> I don't want to jinx it. Yeah. What do you think? What do you think? Did, we, did we start the show with, with, with our audio running today? Is everything good? Is, um, is it? Joy, I'm, I, think the I don't answer, even want to talk about it. I think I have the answer. Um, What's? No. <laughs> Um, no. Oh, no, no Scott Metzl is the first person to actually acknowledge that it is working. It is working. Yay. Yay. Round of applause. Thank you very much to Steve, the audio guy, <laughs> for everything you've done. Well, <laughs> so, I Steve, can't take you... all the credit. You guys helped me for about an hour last night, so thank you. So <laughs> but for those that don't know, uh, Steve, the audio guy, audio guy, a.k.a. Jared Shockley, has gone through and completely revamped his entire audio setup of soundboards, controllers, levers switches ding ding puller whatever like i don't know whatever the heck these different things are and what then, the hell's a ding puller <laughs> you know it's like uh, it's a microphone stand i don't want to know <laughs> it's a microphone <laughs> stand the, the, you know the thing, the thing that, that sits up there your microphone anyway he changed it all out and he had us tested for a good hour and a half or more last night and we even rehearsed the sequence to get in and this morning, we even threw in the fact that we are live and streaming on Learn TV at the same time. I haven't checked, but I think we are. Whew, there are so many variables involved. It's uh, it's stressful. I guess this is the bad part. Uh, what's the address for Learn TV? <laughs> <laughs> you should know what it is. <laughs> I, I work inside Microsoft, Rick. I don't. I know. <laughs> yeah. Head on over to Microsoft.com slash learn. And somehow I have lost my camera again. Oh yeah, well, that's you know yeah. that's not necessarily a bad thing because you do have a, a face for radio. So uh, oh, there we go. Now there you're coming back. back. You're coming back. I d I don't know what's up. I, this machine probably just needs to be just needs to be rebuilt. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, hey, listen, um, Scott. We appreciate the uh, the link. Uh, however, uh, due to the amount of spam that we got in our last uh, broadcast when we were doing the PC build for Rick, um, we've had to put a little bot in. Uh, so I will go ahead and I will, if you want to set, if you want to do a link, you just need to send it to one of our moderators, which would be myself or Rick or um, Jared is also there. And I do believe that on occasion, we also get uh, J flow in the house, but uh, J flow yeah. not with us today. Mm -hmm. Um, should we say hello to the lovely people? We've chat is chat is bumping this morning. Nice. Uh, a lot of people coming in doing the trick or treat, asking if costumes are required. No, today we will not be uh, doing costumes. Though we were considering dressing up as the AZ Update boys, we just didn't want to stoop to that level. I, I mean, yeah. yeah, it's rough. Yeah, it's rough. We got to keep our twenty-two list, our twenty-two viewers. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, Val Temper down in the PDX got his new patch and switch brewer shirt. Oh, He's also nice. got Stroop waffles. He's got Stroop waffles. He's ready to go. Chuck's in the house. Uh, Fair Brit says good morning. All oh, the shadiest of panda in the house as well. Claudia, Frederick, Frederick is here. We haven't seen nice. Freddie in ever. Uh, anyway. So so good to see you here. Uh, Aspen says no comment on the weather here in Minnesota. I don't know what's going on. Um, I, I think it's snow. I think oh, it's here. Almost gonna snow. Like that's crazy. It's not even Halloween yet. As snow. My video is a little bit laggy. Let's give it a little time. It should catch yeah. up. It should catch uh, up. The hamsters yeah. have to catch up. The, the hamsters have to catch up. Every time I do something with my web browser, it kind of causes some, some issues. Anyway, uh, hello to Absom Blogalutely, to Aspen, to Callahan on Twitch, which is different than any other social media uh, platform. Chuck's here. Uh, Chris Keen is here. Claudia. Claudia is here. I Hopefully no more hurricanes down for the Gulf Coast. Just not in a good shape right now. Uh, Desired by Life, the Exchange SME, uh, Fairbrit, as previously mentioned, Foul Temper, PDX, Freddie, uh, HJet in the house. Good oh, morning nice. and hello to, to Harjet. Uh, K. McFerrin, Kowski, Microsoft developer in the house, uh, mm -hmm. following along as usual. It's uh, an account you'll definitely want to follow. This morning, actually, just before we came on the air, uh, we were doing developer stuff on Azure Active Directory over there in the Microsoft Developer Channel. Oh, nice. 
Yeah, Scott Metzl in the house, Shady Panda, TE Cable Guy, VNK, Virgo Pros, Vizio MVP, Wired Canuck, and Wired Jeep. And I know I'm lagging. I don't understand what the situation is here. Bum, oh. bum, bum. Check, check mail for a different key. Yeah, we're not live on uh, Learn TV right now because the key didn't work and I'm getting a cannot connect. So I'm working nice. with Gold Nas. Right on. Okay. In Excellent. the background, we'll see Sounds what happens. Good. Yeah. I, mean, sure. I didn't no even problem. know, I, you no know with, with the new audio setup, I don't even know if people can hear you talk or if that's just these ghosts in our ears talking to us. Yeah, that, that 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 would that would make a that would make brilliant TV as the two of us are just sitting here staring, going, uh huh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, uh huh, uh huh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, we'll figure that out in the back end. That's too bad. Good stuff though. Thanks, uh, thanks Scott, for this, nobody. Yeah, Scott Metzel says Verschard arrived for me a couple days ago. It's a good gray, great embroidering. Mm -hmm. So that's fantastic. That's awesome. Great to hear. If you want merch. Uh, and you're in chat, you can do exclamation merch and it'll show you exactly where to go. Otherwise, if you're not, uh, you have less than, mm. I don't I don't know, carry the what, one. Like you have hours? until 12 hours? Yeah, what? it's 12 hours-ish, 12 hours. Well, midnight Pacific time. We're going to close at midnight Pacific time. Oh, midnight. So head on, head on over to aka.ms slash patch and switch merch to get yours. Remember, a portion of the proceeds do go to our friends over at Girls Who Code. So far, we are we, we're well on our way to a goal of at least a hundred dollars. Nice. So get your orders in so that we can get a hundred dollar donation to Girls at Code, and when we donate, we match, and so they get a little bit more. So it's awesome. So mm -hmm. do that. Yes, Devcon veteran, you're in the house. He became a father yesterday. Oh wow, Devcon veteran, congratulations! Welcome to the world of no longer sleeping and gray hair. Mm -hmm. I was about to say he probably kid. has not slept as of yet since it's just arrived very recently. So, <laughs> yeah, that is fantastic. Congratulations, congratulations. Hope mom and baby are well. Gregor has also joined in the house. Uh, let's see. Uh, heard this of the lag is fading. That's good. The lag is fading. So yeah, I'm telling you, the hamsters can catch up eventually. I, uh, I got a merch merch site for outside the U.S. did not work for me before from the Netherlands. Hmm. Uh, that's interesting. We've seen a lot of orders come in. Um, we'll have to follow up on that. If you can try that again and let us know. Let us know. Uh, worst case, maybe you could you could shoot us a whisper of what you wanted to do and we can work out something. Duck on veteran. Nice. Or hit us on Twitter. Yep. So, hey, uh, we're eight minutes in. What's going on? What's What's happening in your world? Uh, happy to my world, obviously being a lead on the team, we got eight, seven, seven people that are, that are on the team together, all hanging out in various different places. And, you know, I'm going to be completely blunt. We're all tired. <laughs> <laughs> everybody's tired. Like everybody else, everybody's tired. Everybody's feeling burnt. Yep. Creativity is just not kind of there right now. So, uh, we're, uh, I'm chatting with everybody to see how they're going, what's going on with everybody, if I can help with anything, uh, trying to stay a little bit focused, but uh, I'm also encouraging people to take some time off, but um, we'll see where people land on that and where their individual schedules are, but uh, it's important to take care of yourself. And so uh, as a team lead, chat with everybody, coming up with some ideas on how we can do some new creative things. We got some stuff I don't want to announce just yet coming up later in the year. I'm going to wait just a little bit longer on that before I spill the beans on that one, but I'll tease you now because I can and I can fill air very nicely. Uh, <laughs> and uh, uh, personally, honestly, I've actually been working on a post. I've been resurrecting a box here at home. It's kind of work, but it's also kind of beer money as well. Um, I'm working on a headless 2019 box uh, using my MSDN subscription um, activation keys, all from the command line, completely on how to set it up, how to load custom drivers, how to do a custom storage spaces direct locally on the box, uh, and also how to do some NAS file share stuff, uh, and it's turned into a nice little blog post. It was inadvertently turned into one because some people said, hey, that's actually kind of interesting. I've got to go to like eight different sites to figure out how to do this. So I'm like, hey, why not? I'll turn it into a blog post. So that's my background, uh, having some fun continuing to learn stuff that I'm working on right now. 
Perfect for Halloween, too. A headless server. A head. <laughs> Did you know it's actually the anniversary of the headless server this year? Uh, it's not the headless no, server. The no. headless huntsman. The story of the, the headless, headless huntsman. Horseman? Horse huntsman. The headless huntsman. Horseman. Uh, isn't it? Uh, I thought it was the headless horseman. Wow. I thought it was horseman. Be. Is it huntsman Maybe in or Canada, horseman? the Canadian version is the headless huntsman. I don't know. but Oh, is that what uh, it is? No, fair enough. I mean, I know it is the headless horseman, but that's... Yeah. Yeah. So apparently, apparently the Headless Horseman is 268 years old. Wow. Did Small he get his story. driver's license yet? Or is he still going around on a horse? <laughs> Just curious. Well, you know, it's hard to get a driver's license if you can't do the headshot. <laughs> hey, uh, by the way, guys, thanks to the wonderful Golden Naz, we're now live on Learn TV. Oh, my goodness. Yes, look at that. Uh, Docsnoings.com uh, slash learn to slash TV. Uh, that works. We've been trying to be live on Learn TV now for the entire month, and I'm glad the last day of the month we're able to pull it off. Uh, so thank you, Nas, for Did helping us out. Did we lose our schedule for November? Or are we no uh, longer? No, gonna I, be, I, she hasn't November. renewed us, so we'll yeah, find out. Fair enough. If we get to have it or not, we'll find out. <laughs> uh, no problem. No problem. Uh, if you are just joining us on Learn TV, we are Patch and Switch. That's Rick. I'm Joey. We are two IT guys that talk pretty much about nothing. Uh, but we're going to talk about IT. We're just talking about headless servers. Uh, when you probably uh, logged in, or you may have seen headless horsemen. Yep. Um, and now I want to get back to something that you kind of talked about really at the top is the burnout. Yep. Uh, it was interesting. I was reading on some of this stuff, and I, I saw some comments on Twitter that we're not working from home. We're sleeping at work. Sleep. <laughs> that works. It's also we're not working from home. We're working in a crisis. The same thing as well. Um, but yeah. yeah, definitely sleeping at work, uh, having to find your boundaries having to find out different ways of disconnecting and thoroughly disconnecting when you disconnect, uh, people just, you, you know, the weirdest thing for me, and you, you talked to me about this. I'm going to bring this up. I'm totally stealing your thunder on this one, but you can compliment or <laughs> comment on it later. Uh, the fact that people seem to be doing more meetings just to make it look like they're working. Yes. It's like, yeah. Oh, I should work on this. And so I'm going to block a meeting and include you in on this. It's like, you don't need to. Like you wouldn't have six months ago. So you let everybody know you don't need to have a meeting with someone to be able to work on something. Yep. Uh, you can absolutely work on your own uh, and still get recognition for it because we're all doing it. it. So that one. And, and you can email. Email's oh. still good. Yep. Yep. If, if you good. can avoid an, uh, a meeting through an email, uh, there's Teams. Mm -hmm. if, if it's really this important. This little thing we're using right now to be able to produce the show, Teams still works. Sure. Chat. Or, or Zoom. Whatever mm -hmm. you're doing, some yep. team, you know, a collaboration. Um, there's, there's, there's lots of, there's lots of things, um, other ways you can do uh, besides having meetings. And interestingly enough, uh, you know, speaking of this, one of the things that uh, if if anybody here has dealt with anybody doing a Microsoft meeting, they typically start five five minutes late and they go at least five to ten minutes long. Yeah. I have actually, and I don't know if you've noticed this when I've sent you the last few meeting requests, my meetings start five minutes at two oh five. And they oh, yeah. and if it was like a thirty if it was a thirty minute meeting, it, it would end at, at two twenty five. So I right? know so about it's really the shorter a ending minute meeting. Yeah. So are you manually doing the offset for the start? Because I know you can do an automatic thing with Outlook now for the ending sooner. Yeah. Yeah, so I do the I do the automatic thing for the ending, but on yeah. on the on the start time I am manually adjusting it because everybody is going late for meetings, and I think if everybody just gave that extra five minutes, we would have a minute to go get a glass of water, yeah. do the things that we need to do, and then maybe we can all take the advice that we talked about earlier and just have a few less meetings. Just allow so. some. Yeah, and and I'm 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 notoriously bad at blocking time in my calendar for myself. Uh, to, you know, focus time. Mm -hmm. um, it's I just haven't been successful in, in that behavior. I think I probably should start working on that particularly right now. But yeah, uh, it it's it's tough. Uh, I think you, you and I were having a chat yesterday and, and we're both kind of at that point and just how weird this whole world has become and the the that the, the work so we're gonna we're gonna find some ways to disconnect, but we also have some fun things coming up for our folks at home yep. on the Patch and Switch channel here on Twitch. Um, and our, our we have a bot now. Did did I tell you about the bot? We have a chat bot who's so doing I, some moderation for so us. So I meant to ask you about this at our staff meeting about the Patch and Switch show where we go over the script. Um, I need to yes. this 
this is where I need to find out. Like, I thought bots were bad. Like, no, you know, like can, follow bots, bots and, and retweet bots and like trolling bots. Like this, is this a yeah. good thing that we have a bot? Yes, this is a this is a channel bot. The channel bot allows us to do commands. So like if you wanted to follow us, say on Twitter, you could do exclamation Twitter in chat and it would give you the information. Okay. If you wanted to know more about maybe TikTok, you could go exclamation point TikTok, all one word. It'll tell you exactly there. But it's also doing some promotion for us. And the bot just came up and said, hey, Patch and Switch are doing a special homebrewing episode of The Big Show. Catch us live November 7th at oh. 10 a.m. Pacific time. It is a Saturday, so yes. it is not a school day. Um, and we will be, uh, I don't know how this is all going to work out. I do know that our, 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 our good friend Barnaby around the corner, um, is, Mr. is, he's Mr. One wired of the wired Jeep is, is the, yeah. uh, the Twitch handle uses. There's all these wireds and wirelesses and yeah, they're all Canadian. <laughs> I just see wired A, like that's just what I see wired A. Um, but, um, so, uh, our, our friend wire Jeep is going to help us, I guess. Uh, mm -hmm. get everything set up so that we could do uh, the big program uh, from the garage. But I, I only care that we have Boil Cam. Yeah, oh, no, the Boil Cam is definitely going to work. I, I uh, literally can stand half the brew day over the brew pot and just watch the boil and just be like, mm. yep. That'll do. By the way, that'll uh, do. For, yep. for me, for me, the Boil Cam is interesting. Uh, personally, I prefer the Sparge Cam. Uh, just because there's more action inside the sparge uh, with the water trickling and flowing. We might have to do like a periodic slowdown slow-mo or something like that. To the, the water coming up. <laughs> I don't know how we do it, but uh, we'll have to do something like that uh, for doing the sparge cam. Uh, before anyone asks us, uh, we do not know what we're actually going to do for a brew recipe that's going to be part of the socials this week is doing some chatting back and forth about what uh, recipe we should be doing uh and uh, follow at sign patch and switch throughout uh, the twitters to be able to find out what we're going to be doing uh, we will take requests and suggestions if anyone's there uh but it should be fun yep. we're gonna have some new people potentially with yep, us absolutely. joining us in the in the garage socially distanced uh inside of the empty garage uh, yep. open air concepts and see how it goes. Uh, can I just point out uh, on the whole bot front that I'm not yes. a bot? Oh, okay. I'm definitely so, not a bot. Some people again, may think I am because yeah. this is actually Jared AI. I am not a bot. <laughs> see, I'm a real human. Yeah. Steve <laughs> is not a bot. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. All right. Fair enough. Uh, also coming up in November, we're going to have a couple of special episodes of the big program mm -hmm. uh, with some special guests and uh, some holiday fun up oh, our yes. sleeves. We've been yep. we've been deep in planning, deep in planning uh, to kind of help uh, shake up the monotony of <laughs> what is uh, what is life now. The, right. What is this? Whatever we call this world that we live in now, it is definitely I, like Groundhog Day every day. I thought you were calling it a show monotonous. Is that what it was? No, no, no. Our show is not monotonous. Our our show is pretty much just random. Uh, random. It's no definitely way. not monotonous because it is so entirely random. Uh, Mr. TJ12 is here. Uh, that's different than Mr. TJ11. That's how. Yeah, Mr. TJ11. Actually, yeah. the bot has banned Mr. TJ11. Yeah. <laughs> no longer welcome on the program. No longer welcome on the program. He was a rebel rouser. <laughs> yeah, okay. yeah, exactly right. Exactly yeah. right. Uh, in the chat, there's been questions, my friend, uh, yeah. about your PC. Should we, should we get to that later? Do we want to talk about that later? Uh, is that like a random spin, or is that kind of like that's that's kind of beer money? Like, uh, like I I do I do have one more thing I want to talk about from a work perspective that uh, we should talk about. Yeah. I mean, uh, obviously. Um, the stuff that's been happening this week, in case you missed it or did not miss it, uh, I'm already in works right now talking to some of the folks over in the Windows Server and Hybrid team. Uh, they just did a really cool uh, two-hour long session of the Windows Server Summit that had a bunch yes. of really cool content on there about Windows Server, about uh, saw some good tweets about, yes, Windows Server is still around. It's not going away. There's another version that's coming. You know, it's, it's like we have not forgotten about this. Uh, they even had some System Center updates for folks that still use System Center and work with that. And that happens to be a lot of people that still use System Center. Uh, so there's stuff in there as well. Uh, our good friend Ned Pyle, uh, Nerd Pyle Online, um, took a break from walking his doggies 
And uh, yeah. he said he answered something close to 1,800 questions during the two-hour marathon of the show. 1,800? 1,800 questions. And that could be a, a, a netism of just being too many. But uh, okay. they said that they had a great time. So all of that is great blogging fodder that's going to be turned into various different blog posts from a bunch of different people. Uh, you can go uh, still. I've got a tweet up there you can take a look at that simply talks to the on 24 platform is the platform they use for the Windows Server Summit. Uh, you can go and see all the content online on demand. And I'm working with possibly, again, even turning the Windows Server Summit content into multiple blog posts uh, with embedded videos for those that missed it, because uh, there's really, really good stuff out there. Very cool. Uh, it looks like Scott is saying Jayshock is Cortana. Cortana is Jayshock. Cortana is a dude. Nice. Um, Gregor, Gregor is asking Jayshock to type his password in chat to prove that he's real. Yeah, just to make sure. And also your social security number and your my, mother's uh, maiden name. I've already provided my password in chat. Nice. <laughs> oh, I, I, see, I, I see Frederick has as well. It's all asterisks. That's the same password as mine is. Mm -hmm. uh, has been saying, I keep, I keep getting visually fixated on Joey's nano leak panels. Do I, I need know, to turn I... them down, turn them off? They're kind of cool, though. The patch and <laughs> switch colors. Do you see the blue and the yellow? I mean, yeah. just it works. please leave them on. Yeah, it works. <laughs> the next thing you know, the bot is going to be starting to hypnotize people. Look deep into <laughs> the... <laughs> uh, I, I do want to point out, just in case my daughter, uh, one of my daughters probably has never seen the show, but she's heard me put this on before. Behind me, underneath the F of Microsoft, uh, there is an avocado. Uh, she made oh. me put the avocado inside of the frame. Um, okay. So I need to make sure I take a picture of this frame and show her that it actually is in the show, and she'll be happy. Oh, there you go. I mean, it's important. It's important. Uh, we haven't really talked. I haven't really talked much about what I'm doing at work. It's it's uh, it's that October time frame. It's the it's it it's time to do another connect. Oh, nice self reflection. Mm -hmm. Talk about kind of the work that we've been doing. Kind of take a look a, a look at the metrics already, um, which I'm very happy about. So, um, yeah, that's what I've been doing. Uh, today it's done, uh, nice. at least for another three months. Submitted, finished. <laughs> Submitted, finished, and done. And we, we need another uh, in, in three minutes. So with that, and we've talked a little bit about the burnout. Oh, we should also get people prepared. In December, we're, we're going to have to figure out what the December show schedule is from an mm -hmm. official standpoint because... Um, we are encouraging folks to take time off, and we are also going to be taking our normal kind of uh, uh, <laughs> hiatus from the from the big program in December. But we'll do some fun things around before before we yep. take off. So just we'll just to it. let you know, we'll probably somewhere around the 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 the, the, the midpoint of December take it off. Uh, Callahan says, "I see it. I see the avocado witness nice. one." So we've got we it got in it. chat. You can cap. You can capture that. Uh, so let's talk about. Uh, should we talk about beer money, which is the support that we do for our friends, our families, our families, friends, sisters, uncles, pets, cousin. And I want to talk first about your PC. So the questions come up in chat. How's that PC coming? My question to you, my friend, what is broken? <laughs> so, okay, there's a couple things, but. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> so, so the first thing is, um, it is the Asus uh, ROG Republic of Gamers um, Crosshair Hero 7. It's not the Wi-Fi version, but it has a whole bunch of integrated components into it, one of which is the integrated sound card by Realtek. The Realtek sound card obviously has digital optical out as well as the traditional optical out. It's got a bunch of stuff. It's on the board. Uh, the drivers that come down for it are actually interesting because it's the Realtek drivers, but then they put this other shim on top of it uh, I would call it a sham, but it's a shim. Uh, that um, it basically acts like a like a, a router or a. Uh, a um, it doesn't. Uh, besides routing special effects, it doesn't really do very much else. Like I can't leverage it for the show, but based on what game I'm playing, it's going to go off and do different things. So it actually sits there and watches what processes are running or processes if you're American, uh, and then tries to find out. Oh. He's running this game. He's running that game. And then change the sound profile based on what game you want. Mm -hmm. I don't care. 
I don't want it. <laughs> I want to get rid of it. But you can't seem to get rid of it easily. There's lots of forum posts that talks about how to strip it out and remove it and uninstall it, but it keeps on coming back. And then you have to go in and delete portions of your registry. And then some dude recommends a registry cleaner to be able to, and I'm just like, oh, whoa, 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 like stop, full stop, eh, eh, stop. So I found a potential fix that I haven't validated. That's how I've been running the last the last four days. Uh, is you can actually go and download just the sound drivers from uh, the Asus website. Guess how big the sound drivers are? Just just guess. Uh, Twelve gig. <laughs> Five hundred and twenty-two megabytes for sound drivers. Wow. So so I download them. I do the install. And I say, do a hard install, a clean install. And it says, okay, well, we need to remove your sound drivers, then reboot, and then we'll start. It's like, perfect. So I run them, it, it removes them, it installs the Realtek drivers, then it says rebooting, it reboots the box, and then it comes back up again. And then it starts to install the shim, because the shim can't install without the Realtek drivers being in place. Guess what? There's a cancel button. You can actually hit oh, the so cancel you, button you as it's running. You cancel? I hit can't. This is I tried this. I hit cancel and it stopped and it says sorry, couldn't install the drivers. But the sound is working on my system all of a sudden. So all of a sudden I'm like, wow, that works. That's happy. That's good. So uh, I go in and I'm like, hmm. Now I bet you this is going to auto run and start again. Uh, so sure enough, I went off and found auto runs, a good old tool from uh, Winternals, and uh, it's not there. So during a reboot, just to double check and double test in case I missed something, no other driver attempted to install. So I think I actually have a now a clean install for my drivers uh, and it's all good. Fingers crossed. That's what I hope. So, so there's there's people online that are doing registry cleans and everything else and it could be as simple as a cancel. Simple as a cancel after you download a 522 wow. megabyte sound driver, <laughs> which is just absurd in itself uh, and then do it. The second thing that's been happening, so that's, you know, knock on wood, been fixed. The second thing that's not quite just fixed yet is randomly uh, I would be ending a Teams call that I'd be having with someone. Then all of a sudden the system yeah. would, the screen would go black, the Teams window would not close, but it would no longer have any picture inside of it. And then I'm trying to move my mouse and do something to close it, and then it would freeze. And then I'd, it would come back again, and then it would freeze. And then all of a sudden it would just stop working altogether. And then I look over at my motherboard, which I can see over here, which is just out of frame of camera. And then I see the LED starting to, which means that it basically did a hard reset, like a full reset of the motherboard. Um, and uh, the equivalent of me pressing the reset button. Uh, and then all of a sudden my screen would go black and then the post would come up with the, uh, the, the logo and the spinning wheel because it's just starting the reboot process for what it is. I'm like, that is the scariest hard reset that I've had because I hit the yeah. end button on Teams. Now, I, I can't blame my setup. I can potentially blame the person that did it, me, uh, <laughs> but uh, for what the problem could be for that one there. Or it also could be dog food because I'm on significant numbers of dog foods for the operating system and also for the Teams uh, client as well. Uh, however, I did go in and check manually on the um, NVIDIA website because I'm running an NVIDIA 1650 video card. Uh, yeah. And uh, I was on an older version of the video card uh, drivers that were there. I was running 431, it is now 456. Uh, so I went and I downloaded another 500 megabyte driver file. Uh, but this time, instead of going with the gamer's driver, I went with the uh, studio driver. No, I don't. I don't know if that's a big deal or not. Um, they both were the same revision. The studio driver actually had a date stamp of October twentieth, whereas the gamer driver had a date stamp of October third. And uh, so far, so good. It's working fine. But uh, well, I noticed since since our, our uh, testing yesterday, mm -hmm. I haven't seen the crazy green. Yeah, so I was waiting to see if it happened for the show or not, but basically all of a sudden my yeah. video screen would turn into this like three overlaid pictures of Rick and green chroma key, and then it would still be live and working, but it would be like not happy. I don't know if that was a GPU issue with uh, with uh, Teams or if that was a driver for my video capture card from Elgato, uh, which was doing it, but I haven't seen it yet. Now. I know. I don't want to scare you. I had to get you working with the audio, Steve. So, so, so I want to. I want to ask though. 
Do you think this is a conflict between using the virtual cam and NDI at the same time? I'm not using NDI right now. Oh, because, you're not using NDI at no, all? No, because, see, because this box is powerful enough, my team's oh, client you're just streaming directly. Okay. is streaming directly. And then normally, as you mentioned, we would run one box with the camera and the capture, run NDI over the wire to the other box running Teams. I'm running everything all in one. So I'm actually using OBS's virtual cam. I'm not going to try okay. to press the button to change my scene because I don't want to screw it up. So. No, please don't. Please yeah. don't. Uh, hey, welcome to our good friend C Sharp Fritz. C uh -oh. Sharp Fritz in the house. Uh, if you're on Twitch and you're not following C Sharp Fritz, you need to do that. So um, you don't know what you missing. Give him a follow. Give him a follow, or even a subscribe. I mean, they, they do great stuff over there. All the all the Devi things. He writes all the codes. Yeah, but then but, uh, I think it's hilarious in, in the chat. He's actually calling out. It would freeze. It would hard reset. It would go black. Yes, all three of those actually. <laughs> yeah, but the thing is, is that he actually has he actually has an emote that says and then. Yeah, he and has then. an emote which is yeah. fantastic. And then, and then, <laughs> and then. Yeah, nice. That's it's awesome. That's brilliant. That's brilliant. So, uh, is it working? So, yes. Ish. So, on on on, if you were to give your current PC a rating. Out of out of ten. Oh, out of ten. Your, I think we're getting like a four stars. Your, your uh, current rating stars. out of ten. Current rating, I'm going to say a seven five, seven point five. Seven and a half out of ten. Would you rebuild it again? Oh, in a second. Um, I, I okay. will say I have added on to it already. Oh, what have you done? Uh, you again, you can't see it, but I bought a eighteen dollar LED strip for the inside of it to make it so I've got just a little bit more light. Wait, yeah. time out. Hold on. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. We what? had this conversation for a yeah. month leading up to this in, and we had it several times on the stream. And if you missed out, I believe it's going to be on our site for maybe another week or so yeah. um, on the on the clip the off it, I guess. page right here on Twitter. Uh, and you can actually uh, watch it. We'll eventually make affiliate status. We might get enough viewers to actually do that. But but you've actually gone RGB. So I've got a little bit of RGB, just a little bit. And the reason why it's an IT pro thing because my motherboard has the ability. It's an IT pro thing. No, totally okay, is. buddy. This, this is a monitoring thing. The reason why I want to see it a little bit more is because I only have the RGB on the cooler, which came with the processor. And so I added on to a little bit more because based on my CPU utilization, it changes color. So I know when I'm maxing out my system. Right now it's green, it's happy. So it's zero to 30% CPU utilization. If I jump up above 30%, uh, the CPU cooler uh -huh. and the inside of the case changes to a yellow. And then when I'm really stressing it out, it changes to red. So I was having trouble seeing it. So I added in a couple of RGB strips. And it works. It's official. Rick has RGB. Yep, it does. That's it. I, I've not bought RGB RAM. I've not bought RGB coolers or RGB other things, but a $18 strip uh, has been added to give me just a little bit more. But light. you are talking. You are talking about getting an AIO cooler. Uh, eventually, yes. But I'm going to get the non-RGB version. Oh, and right. and. Uh, because uh, of cooling issues, I do have a couple of more fans that I picked up that I have not put in yet. Uh, that do you have too. cooling issues in that case? There's no way you already have cooling issues in that case. Sure. <laughs> I just for me, it's uniformity. I understand. I, we had finance. We had to. We had to get financial approval, so there was cooling yes. issues. Yeah, absolutely. Isn't that why uh, the RGB is red? The RGB is red, right? It was red when you went in. You went, oh, we need more coolers because it's hot. Oh, yeah. So, you know, so the funny thing is that you can't see it, but it's it's uh, the outer ring just turned red on my CPU fan. So uh, I don't know if that means that it's like on the edge of going to yellow or not. But either way, the the uh, those fans are just so sweet. Uh, I couldn't I couldn't deal with the stock fans because that means I've got two types of fans inside the system. I need to have just one type of fan. So um, I'll uh, I'll add them in. Scott Messel says RGB coolers are next week. He's hooked. Uh, <laughs> Janiskew's got the Scott proper uh, new handle for you, Rick. Rickster RGB. Uh, Rickster RGB. <laughs> <laughs> I love that Rickster RGB. That is fun. great job, Jan. Great job. Uh, let's see. Callahan on Twitch, not hating it. Uh, let's see. Scott says no other choice but to go dry ice. Uh, well, 
dry ice could work, I think. Um, I, I, I'm concerned, and if I was going to be buying some aqua cooling options, uh, I would be buying the fully completed, self-installed, and manufacture tested because I know from working with my aquarium downstairs that I'm not that great at making the joints inside of the the uh, PVC piping to know that it's actually leak proof. Hey, hey, Rick, there's an idea to heat up your aquarium. Use your computer. Get water cooling. Uh, <laughs> that could work as an option. You know, uh, Wired Canuck wants to see you with the leaky water cooler plugged in motherboard. No, nobody oh, yeah. needs to see that. Uh, the, the, though, speaking of those AIO, those all-in-ones, right? The all-in-one uh, water cool devices. I'm loving the looks and uh, uh, of the uh, NZ, uh, NZXT or NZXT uh, Kraken. Um, yep. They've got two series. The X series is cool, but the Z series, you can actually put your own logo oh, yeah. in the middle of where the of the radiator. My. Uh, is that the radiator, the, the piece that connects on? No, that's not the radiator. That's the, the radiator's uh, up top. The um, you're talking no, about the actual the, spinny like, thingy, the the heat sink kind the of pump. thing. Yeah. The pump that's actually the pump. on top of the CPU. Yeah, uh, sure. So on the ROG motherboards, you can actually swap out the graphic that displays at the top. And oh. I am wanting to contact you because you have the PNG file for Patch and Switch. It's so in your inbox. Patch it's been in PC. the inbox since we started doing the merch drop. What? It's in my yeah email. Email? Seriously? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, Jan says. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Jan says it's the CPU block. As Scott yes. says, it's the CPU. And listen, yes. I should know this given the sheer amount of time I've spent watching PC builds. We'll get to yeah. that later. Uh, so, all right, cool. So, from from Bear Money, uh, you you've been you successful. You're happy with the PC? Successful. Oh. It was oh. a fun. Build. And it was fun this having part, all of our, our friends. There's the missing part right here that arrived. Um, <laughs> it's it's empty uh, now. Uh, it's it's the, okay, the TPM say, chip. The TPM oh, chip you put arrived. A TPM chip. So the TPM chip, there's a there's a there's a plug-in on the board. It literally is as simple as taking the seven dollar chip uh, when the machine's powered off, um, plugging the chip in. And then booting the machine up, the BIOS recognizes it instantly. You then go in and simply save the BIOS settings once again. And then OS boots up inside of Windows. And then Windows basically says, hmm, your hard drive looks like it needs some checking going on. It's been a while since I've seen that. So I canceled that for now because that's when I did the Azure AD join of the box uh, and added my work account, which then asked me to log out and log back in again with my work credentials. And then all of our policies that came down as part of MEM uh, Endpoint Manager came down on top of the box, but then it allowed me now to have the VPN into the office uh, and connectivity, and then also do all my single sign-on stuff with my Azure account, uh, and everything was all good. It literally took less than five minutes to get that TPM working, uh, but then, you know, for me, half an hour or so for my hard drive to encrypt, because uh, it's one of our policies. But uh, that was an awesome uh, $18 to be able to get that working. Nice, nice. 18, 18, I thought you said it was $8. Oh, that's the shipping as well. And you have to pay the, oh, gotcha. you have to pay the tax gotcha. to <clears throat> Dewey, Cheatham and Howe lawyers and stuff like that. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, Dewey, Cheatham and Howe. Yeah, for sure. Uh, let's see, what have I been doing in terms of beer money support? Um, you know, it's not really tech related, but we, we did come to one of the saddest times of the year for me. Uh, the, the boat has officially been winterized. Oh, I'm like, what? <laughs> yeah. We already talked about the connect at the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> good one. That was, that was good. Nice. Nice. I like that. I like that. Uh, the, the boat has been winterized. Nice. Well, like you said, so, sad. Although I will mention, <clears throat> um, your invitation somehow never made it to me at all. I well, did not. There was the this thing called a once. pandemic. I, but I could have worn a mask. I could have worn a snorkel mask. <laughs> no. Oh, do no. We need to play I don't want to see do that. Do we need to play a Joey? <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, no. Anyway. Uh, yeah. I hate it. I hate it when I put the boat away. Which means that now I have to focus on uh, getting this room. Uh, d I, d does anybody else have just way too many IoT hubs in their office? I, uh, 
because yeah. I've got various lighting things and I've got, you know, so you've got the, the Hue Hub and then you've got the, um, I, I made the mistake of listening to Rick uh, very early in the IoT uh, sense of things. And I went with a platform that shall not be named that has now gone out of business. It might have something, some kind of ownership by somebody who's a black eyed pea. Uh, and and, it's not and in business. That they just want you to pay the money every month. I swapped over. Well, I left. they're completely out of. They've got to be out of it. If not, they're 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 soon. I'm not paying a monthly subscription after I spent seventy dollars on the freaking hardware. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I switched uh, over. I switched over to the the smart the smarter things. Yes, we did. We got. I switched. So I also switched over. Uh, but one of the uh, ecosystems that I have in my house is from Lutron, mm -hmm. because it. You didn't need to buy their hub originally because you could just connect into the to the other system. Right. Uh, so I've got now their hub, which actually makes things a ton faster than the other. I didn't realize <laughs> just how fast those dimmers could go up and down until uh, I actually got the, the real system. So I've got multiple hubs in here. I've obviously I've got one of my UFOs, my ubiquity UFO for downstairs is is is, is in here. What there's a lot of hubs, and so I'm thinking maybe there's I've I've got this this large Ikea type storage unit. It's got my records in it, some drawers to store cables and stuff. I'm thinking about sticking it all on the side of that cabinet. Like That's getting some of that 3M kind of tape and just kind the of sticking 3M it tape to the and side. Put it on. You could also yeah. put it as part of your wall of lights, all the different things. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> the blinky lights of all the hubs in there. Yeah, but that would that would take away from the coolness of 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 the of the, would, the nano lights that would up me. your geek yeah. factor even more potentially, increase your geek dread. Well, if I mean considering that I probably have about fourteen um, Cat Five cables sitting on the floor right now. Yeah, I don't know that my geek factor needs any more encouragement. Any more, um, yeah, that, true. It's, I it's told that story right. I think though, I told that Joey. story. I don't. Yeah, do you have power yeah, cables right. down there? Are there are there the three oh, yeah. power cables? <laughs> there has to be at least one on the floor. Oh, <laughs> he's got the power brick at least. Yeah. Oh, uh, look, there it hard is. drive. A hard drive. Yeah. Um, yeah. Did I tell you this story? Did I tell you the story of the Ethernet cables when I was doing the troubleshooting uh, because I got such crap network bandwidth? Mm -hmm. I was doing troubleshooting before I got on the phone with the cable company just to make absolute sure that it was not me. Um, and I found that I had a bunch of just normal Cat5 cables, like old, because well, I'm an IT pro. I never throw anything away. Throw out. You can use it still. Except for you don't get as great as speeds if you're not using Cat5e or Cat6. Right. So you had so some I basically one? went through and I collected all of the ones that I can't use anymore, and they're all here on the floor. So eventually, they're going to get recycled. Nice, recycled. I don't have to do that. The uh, I, I I was in the same boat and um, have gone through and made some construction of new ones. And I don't know if he's still inside of the chat room or not, but you've seen the calamity of when I tweeted that photo of the RJ45 end. <laughs> Our good friend yes. Mr. Crowell yes. uh, has yes. made Chuck, Mr. Chuck. the double-ended yes. the double-ended Cat Five end. Um, that was an abomination. Uh, he he and I did some beer money support uh, for the charity that I do volunteer work with called Facing Homelessness, the the Block Home Project, where we wire a uh, hard wire from the main house down through conduit down to the standalone um, tiny home where, the, where uh, okay. the, the block home is created. He's gotten better at doing crimping, I will say. He's has gotten he? very good. He has now passed the initial first level test of um, being able to go off and to uh, use the tools. And his, his cable crimp did pass the uh, line test as well. So uh, oh, he's progressing. Wow. Uh, wireless life CD and old patch cords make for towing vehicles surprisingly strong. No, that no. sounds like something Rick would do. I <laughs> did. Um, no, it could work. Yeah, I, he could break I, it. I, no, I don't. I don't think so. I. I, I don't think so. Uh, you know what we should do? Um, you need to make a list of the tools that you carry when you go do that job, and we will put it together a uh, updated version of the patch and switch toolkit, and, and maybe talk about it in a future episode. 
Sure. The yeah. switch toolkit things that we need th things that we need to have. Uh, C sharp Fritz, uh, the, his no emoticon saying, "Don't tow vehicles like that. Chains only. <laughs> straps? Are you good with straps? Toe straps? Yeah, I'm, I'm toe a toe strap kind of guy because of my Jeep and off roading. So I've got toe straps. I have a toe I straps. haven't used it yet. I'm dying to use it. I'm hoping that you get stuck, my friend, so I can come and rescue your F-150. Uh, it is a Bubba bungee. <laughs> It's a Bubba bungee. It's it's a ginormous elastic band <laughs> that has the strength. Uh, I want to say of like twenty five thousand pounds that you can go in, attach to both vehicles, and then the Jeep goes out at at speed, builds up the energy inside of the elastic band, and then <laughs> pulls the Jeep pulls the other vehicle out. I'm so dying to try it. <laughs> So let's be clear. The actual use case is not that Joey gets stuck. The yeah. actual use case is Rick has managed to get stuck and Joey has to go rescue him. Therefore, <laughs> we will use your bungee on you. Nice. Because we all know this is how this whole thing is going to go down. <laughs> well, anyway, I'm dying. I'm, I'm hoping that uh, Just saying. we get some kind of a, a ditch situation where you've lost control uh, and are in a ditch uh, because of the snow. And uh, then I'll be able to go in and use my You, you realize bungee. I grew up in Salt Lake City, dude. It's That's not them. like I've never driven in snow. That's them. Those are them. Uh, oh, there we go. The, the Capri ropes. The bungees. Yeah. The big Bubba. The renegade. Nice. <laughs> uh, Scott Metzel says, 500 feet of Cat 5E looped a few times. I don't know. Could, could, could outdo a toe strap. Never know. Never know. Uh, Scott, are you going to do a test? We need a test. We need yep. a video test, and we'll play the video on the show. Nice. Content. Content, right? Hey, hey Rick, yeah. the next time you do go do one of those wiring, uh, I would, I could follow along and do some uh, videotaping with my cameras. Might be fun uh, to capture. Sure. Sometime. No problem. They, they've got 10 houses I've done so far, so uh, number 11 has not been built yet, but it's on the way. I shall take that into consideration. Uh, Big shout out to Ash9009. Thank you for the follow. We appreciate that. Thanks for mm -hmm. following and we appreciate that. Uh, Scott Metzl, hold my beer. Hey, y'all watch this. What's the worst that could happen? <laughs> uh, you've watched the show, right? Yeah. You've, you've watched the show. <laughs> we've, we've talked about this before. The insurance companies uh, cringe when they hear that. <laughs> yeah. C Sharp Fritz to a wireless ICD and toe to toe toy Corolla with two old 50 foot Cat 5 cables in a wreckers yard when we couldn't find chains. Nice. Well, good thing it's a wreckers yard. It wasn't actually on the road. That, well, that's, that's true. Hey, um, what's going on in random spending? Uh, well, you know, uh, th these are the most recent ones. Um, just more fans. More fans. Fans for me. That's it. And you and oh, I have been you, talking you, last night, actually. We're talking about uh, Kindle. <clears throat> that might be a random spend today. Can we can we talk about how this comes up? So we're doing the test because Jared has completely redone every piece of audio. Uh, sorry, yeah. Steve. Out of nowhere, we're in the middle of a conversation. Jared and I are talking about something, I don't know, completely different. All of a sudden, does anybody know what version of the Kindle is the latest? <laughs> And I'm like, I I don't know, but maybe maybe we could find out. There's right? this thing called and the so interwebs. I yeah. I do a search, and you know, I go right to Amazon's page, which would the be Kindle. the likely first stop that you make yeah. for the Kindle. And we go through this conversation, and you're perfectly happy, but you seem to think that the way that you measure the display resolution is in PPE. It's, I'm just using it. You said PPI. I thought it was PPL and it was actually PPE. So this is PPE, yeah. personal yes. protective equipment, right? Mask, yeah. right? PPI yeah. is actually what it is. Yeah. So I was, I was trying to make sure that we got the right one because for some reason, the original ready to go current version uh, is available with 300 PPI. And I want to make sure that the one we were talking about at 300 PPI because um, I couldn't find one that was current and brand new in box that was available, but I could find a refurb one for $10 more and I could have it immediately. So wait, but let's rewind here. 
there were some brand new in box completely available, just not in the color that he wanted. No, so I he was willing to pay rose. ten dollars more to get a refurb version, a used version. <laughs> Ten dollars. This this is why there is price gouging on the internet. Yeah, we, we're we're looking at it right now. <laughs> but rest assured, friends. Rest rest assured, chat. I I set him on the right path because you can buy Kindles at at all the different retailers. They've got them yeah. at the at the Targets and the WalMarts and and the Best Buys. Yeah, I might so I might stop you, by uh, Target later today to pick one. Okay, we'll see. But ten dollars more for a used. Kindle, <laughs> because you could get it delivered overnight. Uh, so the the um, the the reason why is because um, I know it. The reason why <laughs> was because part of the discussion that we had at the very beginning of the show talking about burnout. Uh, one of the other contributing factors to it is lack of sleep. Um, and so I've been trying to have a better sleep pattern personally. Uh, and turning off the screens and staying away from that kind of uh, interference as far as your brain waves are concerned, how to shut off my brain from the screens. Uh, so I'm going to go back to, I got a couple of books on my reading list I want to go off and finish. Um, nice. And uh, one of them is, obviously they're all available on the Kindle, but I can't find my Kindle anywhere because the last time I used it was when I traveled, which was six months ago. Uh, so It's on the plane. It's on the plane. It's on the plane. Probably it's in the seat pocket. <laughs> Yeah, probably. <laughs> It'll probably still probably. be there when I go back and try to find yeah. it. Because they, they parked that plane. Sometimes. Uh, so, I, yeah. I, 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 Wireless Life and I have the same question. But isn't the Kindle a screen? Well, this is the funny part. Uh, it does not actually use blue light because it doesn't reflect it into your eyes. The lights reflect into the paper white. So there's actually a discussion thread and a blog post about this. Uh, that talks about blue light and the lack of blue light inside of the e-readers. So because of the type of screen and the paper, uh, it is minimal to none. Here, KT Baker 77, or you could get actual books. <laughs> well, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I could do that as well. I'll have to look and see which, which kind of books I have to see which, uh, how much I have to, to worry about um, shelf-wise. <laughs> I do have a shelf I could fill up, I guess. I, I do understand. But then what I gotta you're get a light though. next to my bed. I do understand what you're saying, though, Rick. But I've gone with the audiobooks, and then I could just shut my eyes and just sit and listen. But then I gotta put like earphones in or something. I can't sleep with that. That's not my problem. Yeah. So <laughs> we'll see. No, it's 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 a problem that especially because over the summertime, my team only had five people on rotation for on call. Yeah. So yeah. we were all suffering bad burnout, and I was doing a lot of almost sensory deprivation when I wasn't mm -hmm. on call kind of stuff. So wow. Jan has a great idea, a patch-and-switch sleep eye cover. Nice. I could do that. Yeah. That could work. And put cucumbers underneath it or something? Oh, man. If Cucumber that gets rid of the bags in my eyes, I will do that in a heartbeat. <laughs> Cucumber <laughs> installation points. I like that. <laughs> uh, KT Baker 77 bringing in some breaking news. You know, the, the library lens books as well. Yeah, that's true. Um, I, have to, I don't even know if the, the uh, King County Library is open these days right now. I have to check. You, you can, they are open for checkout. Uh, open you for cannot checkout. go you, to yeah. them, but you need, yeah. You need to yeah, cool. look it up online. They even have audiobooks. Yeah, nice. absolutely, absolutely. Um, I'm, I'm upgrading my computer. You you've decided because of my build, you need to do one as well. Yeah, you know, so I made a mistake in 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 my hurry of getting the best deal I could possibly get when I bought all the parts on Black Friday a few years ago, and and I didn't do what I normally did, which is I normally would buy a motherboard that kind of future proofed me a little bit. And apparently yeah. I did not. Apparently the motherboard I um, I got, so I got the Intel processor, which was one gen before the Coffee Lake. And so I, it's it's Lake something, and I forget the, the name of it. 
it's a nine series. Then Coffee Lake came out, and it wasn't that big of an upgrade. Right. And then the next gen came out after that, which was a significant upgrade. And had I been smart and bought the other motherboard that I was originally looking at, and not just being impatient and going what was on the shelf when I was at this particular retailer that no longer really stocks anything in their actual physical stores. Oh, um, no. Fries. Yeah. I miss yeah. those. Um, yeah. Yeah. So I, I kind of made the mistake of, of doing that. But now with the X570 motherboards coming out, you can get the Ryzen 5 series. You can get a Ryzen 7 series. Sorry, you yep. can get the Ryzen, Ryzen 3. Is that Ryzen 3? Yeah, Ryzen 3, the Ryzen 7. And then they've got the new 5 series coming out probably in the next three or four days, the, the first yep. part of November. Very soon. Which is supposed to be like really amazing. Um, so I'm thinking probably new motherboard, probably go with a new proc. I, I may just jump to the seven series, the X 37. I know you've got the 39, right? 38, 3,800. So I'm thinking 37, eight cores. Um, I'm going to, it's me. So some RGB, of right? Course. I'm not going to put a light CO2 strip in it. I don't need a light strip. CO2 I'm cans. not going to need it. Well, yeah, that's how that's how you can tell everything's going. Whenever I whenever I move up one spot higher from the bottom of the leaderboards when we play a game, just yeah. it's a second to last. Yeah. Uh, CO two, right? Um, so I'm thinking uh, the the uh, oh, Ryzen nine. Oh, is it not a seven series? I thought it was a seven series. Oh, maybe it's a seven thirty six. Yeah. Anyway, the the new version, the thirty seven hundred, is kind of what I'm going with. Um, Graphics card, I'm still good with what I have because I've got a, 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 a 1060 Super, so we're good there with the graphics card. I have I have heartburn in paying anything over a couple hundred dollars for a graphics card, and mm -hmm. I'm playing games at 1440, right? And I don't need, you know, 60 frames a second at 1440. Uh, that's just not what I need. Um, a, a, a nice cooler, but all in the same case. So just just some minor minor tweaks and upgrades. That's that's what I'm thinking. I Minor like tweaks and upgrades. Like and some it. RGB. Got to have some RGB. Uh, some new new fans as well. Uh, so C sharp Fred's G Joey. So uh, you're making me. Yes, I know. I I know how long the show goes. Producer. <laughs> see see see. Now this is where again I don't know if if Steve is talking to us and people can hear him or yeah. if he's not. This is just this is witchcraft. He's just witchcraft. yelling at me, going, "There's three yeah. minutes." I'm like, I know when the show ends. Yeah. C sharp Prince, so, Joey, you're making me feel like I need to build a new video production machine. Yes, you do, and we need yes. to do it on stream and together, Princey. Can happy we do it together? To help advise you on that one there. Absolutely, um, it would be I, amazing. I, we do need to do a shout out to folks that we need to have three work safe words because we missed that last time. We do have enough time before the band starts up, so three work safe words in the chat uh, yes, that we please. can use. Uh, the band has got uh, like another minute before they show up. Jan says, I am for Intel when it comes to CPU and GPU, the NVIDIA, I agree. However, mm -hmm. if you are looking for a super high-end performance machine, the new Intels are great. They're a little more expensive. If you're doing kind of gaming mid-tier stuff, the AMD is where the sweet spot is. I'm in the mid-tier. I'm not looking to go to the top end, so that's me. <clears throat> um, let's see, the X570 will uh, not run the future AMD procs. If you're buying future proof again, that's not true. The X570 will actually support the new five series that are out. If you bit, if you get the right one, I'm going with an ASUS that does support the, the newest yep. version. Plus you get PCI four. Mm -hmm. um, let's see, uh, da, 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 just, just a lot of RGB, a lot of Rickster RGB comments nice. that we have in there, Love passion it. switch RGB. So Jan needs to rebuild his old PC rig to modernize. I agree. Uh, J Shock, we are going to be, we are going to raid. Oh, uh, uh, they just went offline. Um, oh, I oh, see oh. Instafluff is with us again, but we raided him last time. Uh, let's see. What about? I was, uh, I was hoping our friends over at Artisan Builds were online, but it looks like they've just. Oh no, they're on. They're oh, on. Good. Okay. We're going to raid Artisan Builds. We're going to watch PC building. All right, We're going nice. to raid Artisan Builds. What about for the next uh, show, so Rickster G RGB Winterized Pumpkin as a show title? Sounds good. Rickster RGB Winterized Pumpkin. That works for me. Sold. Perfect. Done. <clears throat> uh, awesome. So with that, the band is probably going to play here anytime. So we should say oh, goodbye to everybody who's joined us. Um, Absa Blog and Lutley Aspen. Chris Keen, uh, Claudia, good to see you, Commander Ruth, C Sharp Brits. Build that PC and let's join you on stream. We would love to do that. That would be a fun holiday episode. 
Uh, Def Con veteran desired by Life Exchange SME Fair, Brett Fell Temper in the PDX wearing his patch and switch for a shirt. Thank you so much. Right Frederick Gil, uh, Galgoya Hargett, Jan Ildera, Kay McFerrin, Kowski, Katie Baker, Lurks, Rake, uh, uh, Saddest Kitty, welcome. Ledwig, wow. great to see you, sir. Uh, Scott Metzel, Shady as the Panda Soren, Tom Toms. Great to see you, TE Cable Guy, Thicker, VK, Virgo Pros, Vizio MVP, all the nice. wires. And remember, you have until midnight tonight to get your patch and switch merch. I've done uh, exclamation merch in chat to get the links. Until next time, that is next Saturday when we do a beer stream. Have a weekend, everybody, and stick around because we're going to raid our friends over at Artisan Builds. They're building PCs. You want to stay with this. So, everybody be nice, give them a follow, and say patch and switch sent you. Have a weekend, everyone. Right in four, three, two, one. <gasps>